Hey YouTube, Nomad76. So, uh, if, if you've uh, watched my channel updates, I've had two. One uh, when I was just leaving the uh, desert southwest and uh, one not long after arriving here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so, since then, uh, it's been, uh, been a little while, but uh, about a month. It's been quite a bit of changes. Uh, for the last two weeks now, we're uh, uh, now residing in our new home which is we purchased which is a milestone for us it's the first home uh, my family and I've ever um, bought and uh, which is a, a nice piece of uh, land five acres in a, in a rural area not too rural only only a few miles out of town which is just about right for me still have uh, the convenience of um, being able to travel into town without having to drive too far but uh, on top of that, it comes with some um, uh, additional challenges, and, and I'll go into some of that here in a minute. Um, but um, um, the, <clears throat> I'll just do a little backstory, though. So, um, so all of you, I guess, are, are aware. Both my my wife and I both grew up in a rural area. We've we both grew up on on you know on rural property. So so we're not unfamiliar even though this is this is our first home where we've been renting since it you know since we've been married and um and the whole time i've been in the military so um part part of it is because of uh because of the military you know uh sorry about that i don't have my tripod but um uh it's um Based off of market and everything else, it's just been something that just hasn't ever worked out for us. And this time around, we decided that we we're going to make it happen. And because we're both um, of the self-reliance, homesteading uh, mindset, uh, it's something we've wanted for a long time. And, and a lot of what we've been doing over the years has been very limited because of the fact that we didn't own the property that we were, you know, residing on. Uh, there's only so much you can do on a, a rental property before you're just kind of wasting your money. So, um, with that being said, as soon as we got here, of course, we just we wanted to hit the ground running and do a million things all at once. And you know, due to budget and time, uh, there's no, there's only so much you can do, uh, in you know, based off of time and budget. And so we decided to prioritize our, our, um, our efforts and, um, and decide what, what we needed to, you know, we let a few things slip through, you know, splurges here and there, but, um, what we needed to invest in as soon as possible. And, and the first off is, is you see there, and I'll roll in another little clip of a, the chickens, but, um, it, we were fortunate enough there was already a coop here. I just had to do some minor repairs to the uh, chicken wire on one side. Uh, but we picked up six uh, chickens, uh, three Americanas and three uh, uh, Rhode Island Reds. So, um, and they're all already producing eggs. In fact, they, they got a few eggs the first night uh, or next morning, whatever. And um, uh, so, you know, that small investment has already paid off. We're getting a, usually about six eggs a day and um uh, which is not enough to keep us from buying eggs from the store yet uh but we will expand that chicken operation as uh, time moves on in fact over here i have a uh which is just a, a they used it as like a goat shed uh, the previous owners had goats um i don't we don't intend on having goats and um and in fact we're leaning towards more towards meat sheep and that right there um i'll probably turn into a larger chicken coop uh and put a pen off of that so that we can uh we can have you know at least a dozen or more chickens um so and okay so we set that that priority you know because for one we wanted chickens uh for two they're they're already producing this food they're already offsetting um, grocery costs um by a little bit, but not, you know, currently they're probably not, they're not paying their keep, but if you get more, that's a whole nother story. Uh, the next thing, and this is kind of in the, 
I guess I'll categorize this. This is food production. Um, so some things, you know, of course, take time. Plants and trees and stuff like that are, are one of them. So I bought uh, five different berry uh, bushes. Uh, four of those are just blueberries. Uh, it's a couple different varieties. And then one is a goji uh, berry. If you're not familiar with goji berries, it's also called a wolf berry. And I'll do, like I said, all this stuff I'll do more further detailed videos on later their own separate videos but um um the uh <clears throat> goji berries kind of like they they have like a root stock kind of like a uh, like raspberries if you're familiar with those and so they kind of self you can self propagate you can basically take that one plant they're they're quite expensive i think i paid almost twenty dollars for that plant it's a several year old plant but um uh, I, I'll be able to buy, by next spring or whatever to get a few more off of it and, uh, you know, continue to grow my, uh, goji berry, uh, uh, bushes. <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and then we're also fortunate enough too, and I'll roll in a little clip there on the, uh, garden space. They kind of have a enclosed garden space that has a, um, uh, they, uh, I think they built it as a semi uh, greenhouse so it's got a uh, roof over it clear plastic roof and then i uh they they would uh, wrap it with uh, plastic in the winter and the spring i'm sure to make them sure they do early starts or keep you know winter crops alive uh or crops that wouldn't grow in the winter alive for that matter um and uh, so we, I already, you know, why not? I already have seeds. Uh, so I already started planting in there and I've already got, you know, uh, some some winter and uh, fall crops that are uh, starts that are going. And um, so, you know, I figured if I got the space, I might as well plant something there. It didn't really cost me anything, just a little bit of, a little bit of time uh, and uh, a little bit of labor, you know. So, um, <clears throat> produce that, so that, that's kind of limited in the food production. I still have the intent to put at least two, um, apple trees in the ground, uh, within the next month. Um, and, you know, and to continue to grow, I want to, of course, I want to have a full orchard of, you know, uh, all kinds of different trees, but you know, the trees are not cheap. And especially if you want to buy ones that are, um, you know, that aren't tiny, just little saplings that are, you know, will take years and years and years to, uh, produce anything. Um, so, uh, that covers the food production. The next category is our prioritizing as it, it's guess is, is communications. And, and, um, there may be some debate over this, but so this is, uh, in the grid, grid up communications world, uh, which, you know, like cell phones and internet is primarily what I'm talking about here. Um, and, and I, like I said, I, some people like be, well, why'd you put money into that? Well, guess what? We still, <laughs> we're still living in a grid up world. So, um, uh, it, it, it doesn't hurt to, well, I, I guess the very simple matter of fact of the matter, because of my job and other, I have to have, um, phone communications capabilities and our, our, our cell phone coverage here is it's not too horrible but you know if you're you're in the right wrong or I guess wrong place you won't have coverage or you won't have service so uh and and it definitely gets limited in the data category uh so the uh so what i did there is i went ahead and bought um I went on the, a little bit on the cheap side as, a, as an experiment, and you'll see further videos on that, and we'll see how that works out for us. But um, on eBay, there was a, you know, China made setup, excuse me, um, of a, uh, you know, had a Yagi antenna, the coax, and the uh, amplifier set up in an internal antenna. Um so, and if you guys are familiar with the Yagi antenna, it's, you know, this, the system's all set up for, uh, AT&T's uh, primary, uh, frequencies, and which is who my carrier is. If you want one that covers multiple carriers and multiple frequencies, um, you're going to pay a little bit more for it. 
and, and you know who knows if this system doesn't work out I'll probably end up with a system like that because uh, you know it's just how yeah, it's going to work I'll just return this that's the nice thing about using eBay is you're protected but uh, using PayPal so if this thing doesn't work then I will return it <clears throat> um, so uh, and I'll, I'll roll in a picture there the antenna uh, I've got it on a, a taller pole now and I've got to mess around with it hopefully that'll work out and like I said there'll be a additional video covering that maybe multiple videos I don't know how long it takes me to get it working correctly um and then satellite internet is our only real option for uh high speed internet and i say that a little lightly but uh um the only other internet option here is through the local phone company which is basically dial up they don't have dsl here it's it's literally 1.5 megabytes per second, which is next to dial-up. And I yes, I do know what dial-up speeds are or were, um, because I was uh, I'm old, I'm young, old enough to uh, you know to have experienced dial-up internet. So, um, <clears throat> so that that was basically that'd be only enough for like checking email and maybe a little bit of social media, but that's about it. Um, and, and that just didn't meet our needs and as a family and um for the cost too i mean you know uh it wasn't worth it so we went with satellite internet the companies exceed which bought out or whatever they used to be wild blue uh the nice thing is is there's no data limit on it there i mean there is a data limit but it just slows down if you go over your data um <clears throat> there's no additional charges so i i will do an additional video on that so far pretty happy with it and, and there's some plus sides to satellite in a grid up world uh you know with localized maybe power outages or something like that could affect your internet service if you've got a backup battery system like i do um you could potentially still have internet when other people don't uh just depends on the scenario there's quite a few of them but uh That'll all, like I said, I'll cover all that in those uh, videos. And then, so grid, grid down communications is a whole other category, and uh, I've done plenty of communication videos. The only thing I have to uh, add to that, as far as for this video, is I will uh, I, I will be putting a uh, GRMS repeater on my property uh, for private use. I am a GRMS. Uh, I do have a GRMS license. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of that information, you can check my channel. I've got a few videos. I'm not the best resource. There's some other ones out there. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and and I'll leave links below to their channels if you guys are interested or whatever. Just ask me. Leave a comment or whatever, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll point you in the right direction if, if you're interested in GRMS communications. And Because uh, if you didn't know, uh, if you have the license your your family can use it so it, it'll be for my family's use uh and, and i'm lucky because i have a little bit of elevation to my property so it'll help me uh get a fairly decent decent coverage area using my own repeater and that will be an off-grid repeater uh it will be powered by solar and a backup battery um so well, we'll get into that. I'm, I've never done it, so it'll be a whole new category for me. So, uh, I guess, sorry about that. I'm literally holding this by hand. I should have brought my tripod up here, but I just did this kind of off the cuff. Uh, I, I just wanted everybody to know that um, uh, I'm trying to increase uh, my channel content. For one, I just like to share what's going on in my life. Um, and it's kind of why I started this YouTube channel. Um, as a uh, for those of you that are like minded, I guess you probably kind of understand. Sometimes it's hard to find people um, and, uh, that are that think the same way as you do, uh, that are like minded, and uh, that's why I think we've a lot of us have pulled towards YouTube is it helps us connect with uh, other like minded individuals and. Um, so, like I said, for me, it's it's just like life. It's it's one big experiment, and I'm just I'm trying it, I'm living it, and um, I'm sharing it with you guys to see, you know, hopefully I reach some other people. They can learn from my mistakes. I learn from theirs. Uh, I, I view more videos than I produce. Uh, that's for sure. Um, um, 
and uh but but i like i said i i just hope to increase uh increase viewership and then also uh you know uh satisfy the uh my current subscribers you know more with producing more and new content that uh hopefully is what they're looking for and, and for those of you that are not don't worry i'll still be you know i'll still be producing my uh coleman videos and uh some of my other communication videos and and whatnot uh that's kind of the uh my primary sources uh or primary videos uh, that get the the most viewership so uh yeah so if you guys have any questions or comments whatever just uh leave them below and uh we'll be uh i've got like tons of i've already got a lot of footage so i just got to put some videos together i've got a huge list it's just i'm busy taking advantage of the summer weather in the northwest um because um as you, as you that live up here know that within about a month or two from now it'll be raining and it won't stop until late next year so all right Take care. Snowman76, have a great day.